The fear of the unknown is real. It's officially my last week at home before heading off to Berlin for my final year of university. And even though I've traveled to a new country every year for all of my bachelor, Berlin still feels different, like a new kind of scary. Good morning guys! I just finished filming a TikTok video for this weird food combo. I'm gonna add more things. This is too small for me for breakfast. I have here some orange. Yeah, today is gonna be a chill day. It's gonna be a lot of pre-editing because I'm not gonna have a lot of time next week as I am moving to Berlin, you know? Nice, easy morning. But let's see what my last week here brings. No matter how many times you step out of your comfort zone, it never gets easier. The thing about leaving your comfort zone is that it always feels like you're jumping off a cliff. In a way, moving to Berlin is terrifying, but also kind of exciting in a very weird way. Maybe it's because it's my last year of my university, or maybe it's just the fear of the unknown. What am I supposed to do after this year? It's funny because I always hear people say, don't worry, it will all work out. I mean, I'm sure it will, but that doesn't stop me worrying, you know? I have a tendency of worrying too much and overthinking stuff. Other times I just do the most random things without thinking. This was the case when I had to choose a color to dye my hair. This year's color is crazy. That's the only way I can describe it. My hairdresser literally makes magic every time I come. How does she do this? And then, after getting to try this new combination for my sandwich, he has showed me how wonderful change can be. And I was worried I was not gonna like it. But trying new flavors, trying a new hair color, just comes to show that we can change. And that despite us worrying, sometimes the best decisions are made in the moment. We tend to get caught up in the what ifs, that is easy to lose sight of the fact that every day we can start a new adventure. You don't have to wait for the perfect day, sometimes we just have to take one step and the rest will follow. But I'm used to traveling. The thing is, for me, it's not about the change as such, but about saying goodbye to my family. No. Reaction. <laughs> the comfort of home is hard to let go. I know I'm ready for something new. But on the other hand, I know I'm gonna miss my dog, my sister, my brother, my mom, and my dad. They are, after all, where I feel most at home. And it's time for dinner. I've been editing the whole day and I'm almost done. I really need to finish editing this video today because tomorrow my plan is to edit another video that I have lined up. But yeah, I'm just having almost the same thing as lunch. I was craving my bagel, which I have been making on repeat. They're one of my staples now, I'm just saying. The plan after dinner is just to finish editing. I also have to finish my kimchi. This is my second bag. I'm getting the hang of this. As the days were approaching, I was thinking about how much I was leaving behind. But when we do this, we forget to realize how much this new adventure can potentially give us. I will miss my kitchen, and yes, I will miss my pet. But I still have my yogurt balls that I can make every day. I can still do my bagels and my banana breads. And I have you guys all coming with me on this journey. So when it comes down to it, I'm not leaving behind anything really. I'm just stepping out to a place where I can experience something new. As I've realized throughout the years I've been studying abroad, is that change can be so exciting. And that sometimes we just have to embrace it. Because every new experience adds to who we are. Whether it's traveling to a new city, starting a new job, or finishing a degree, it all is gonna shape us. The thing with change is that it's inevitable. 
all of us have to step out of our comfort zones someday. But instead of fearing it, instead of overthinking it, we can choose to face it head on because that is what is in our power. The fear will always be there. But something funny to realize that the unknown is also where all the best memories I have were made. When I look back at all the places I've been and all the people I've met, I realize that every step has brought me to where I am right now. Each experience, whether good or bad, has taught me something. Every trip, every class, every friend I've made has prepared me for this. I know this year is going to bring new challenges, but I also know that it's going to bring so many new adventures. So if you're feeling scared about a big change right now, know that it's normal. But don't let that fear paralyze you. Lean into the excitement of it. Embrace the unknown. Because that is when you're going to grow. So I just went to quickly do some grocery shopping, got some tea bags. And the reason I came here was to get this gel thingy. I love this brand, naturally. And I saw that they had this porch right one time and I really liked it. And it was on sale, so I grabbed it without thinking. And they also came out recently with a new product, and it's this wrap. As you guys know, I'm trying to build my spice tolerance. I think I got one that I smashed a bit. Um, that's my fault. I got this not because of the product itself, but because of the bottle. Today, it had impulse to buy. I don't even ask. That was the quick grocery haul. Now, crossing my fingers that I can get home safe. Me driving. And speaking of growth, today is my birthday and it's the first time I'm going to be spending it alone without my family being physically there with me. At first I was very sad about that, then I realized that I chose this adventure and I can only be grateful for my family to allow me the chance of exploring who I want to be. I want to thank them for allowing me to spread my wings and leave the nest. And even though I was reluctant at first, encouraging me to take this new adventure, to grow and to understand myself in a whole new different level. And to be honest, I do feel more mature. I do feel like traveling abroad has taught me so much about what it means to be an adult, but also what it means to be me. Turning a year older doesn't just mean celebrating. I mean, sure it's nice to get to blow your candles, but personally the most important thing is always being there with the people you love most to witness that new you. These guys might be the most random lunch. I need to use up some things before I leave, but it smells very good. It reminds me a lot about lentil dishes I used to have in Spain, but a little piece Honestly, I'm such a messy eater. I have no excuse at this point. All I've been doing is applying for some internship, Time flew by so quickly, I forgot to even film. And now I'm just gonna enjoy this very random lunch. My fondest memories as a child has to be my birthdays with my family. My dad taking me to a playground to play with me. The first birthday I had with my brother. The birthday I turned five where me and my mom went to Paris and I spent a whole weekend with her in Disneyland. But something I love about birthdays is that they allow you to reflect back on the year and to truly see how much progress you have made. For example, this summer, me spending almost half of my time in the kitchen trying new recipes and cooking and baking dishes from all over the world has really elevated my skills. And this is something that my 10 year old self would never have thought I could do. I was literally burning pasta before I left to study abroad. I couldn't cook or bake. And that's just a little example of how much I have changed and improved. So yeah, I might not be the same person I was a year ago, but it doesn't mean that I am not more me. As we grow older, we're gonna face more unknowns, but that just means that we are gonna keep getting stronger and stronger.
So I close this chapter of my life here in Berlin without my family by my side. I open a new one where I know I am capable of handling whatever life throws at me. Because even though my family might not physically be here with me, I know they're always out there supporting me. And yes, as much as I miss them, they miss me back. We can miss the feeling of home. I miss, for example, the movie nights that I had with my mom. But I'm happy to say that I enjoy those moments and I try to be more present this summer because I know how much they mean to me. And that is something that if I had never left, I would have never appreciated. I want to share a few things I've learned about approaching change with excitement instead of fear. First. We should focus on the possibilities, instead of thinking, what if I fail? We should ask ourselves, what if things go right? Trust me when I say that you shifting this tiny thing in your head will do wonders. Shifting our mindset sometimes is just a key to unlocking the potential of every new adventure that we take. Second thing that you need to know is that if you want to grow, you are gonna eventually have to let go. Let go of the comfort, let go of the familiar, and stepping into a new chapter. Allowing yourself to embrace it and being open about the opportunities it can bring you. You don't have to have everything figured out by now. We tend to put a lot of pressure and that normally holds us back. So it's okay if you don't know exactly where you're headed. Even if it feels like everyone around you does, everyone is in their own timeline. Time has come for round three. This is my last year. I'm freaking out, kind of. I kind of grow a costume to it, you know? But yeah, let's pack for Berlin. In the meantime, we're gonna watch some Netflix. One thing you need to realize is that the only person you can compare yourself to is who you were yesterday. Today, the fear of the unknown is even harder because of social media. As we're constantly seeing other people's highlight reels, it seems like everyone is living their best life, that they're traveling non-stop and that they're getting these amazing experiences. It makes you wonder if you're actually doing enough. But here is your reminder that you are. There's no rigid plan that you have to follow. What others do is not your journey to go on. You comparing your journey to someone else's is like trying to fit a circle inside a square. It's just not gonna happen. And the sooner you realize that, the easier the change is gonna be. When I first started this journey, success to me looked like getting good grades and landing the perfect job after graduation and having everything sorted out by the time this came. Now that I'm living, I think success actually is looking quite different from what I started with. Success isn't about ticking some boxes anymore. It has come to mean much more. For me, success now looks like feeling fulfilled happy and not getting stuck in the same place, but growing as a person. It's easy to measure your worth based on external things like accomplishments, but real success comes from personal growth. We need to start embracing our fears and actually start going for what we want, not letting others determine what that is. It might not fit everyone's expectations, but when we pursue exactly what we want, we always get a step closer to understanding ourselves better. It allows you to see the world through a different lens and it opens your mind in ways you can't even imagine. Sometimes the hardest part is just trusting the process. It's easy to get overwhelmed. Of course, no one wants to fail, but all success stories have failure right alongside it. There's a saying that says things happen for a reason. And while it might sound cliche, I think there's a lot of truth to it. Even when things don't go as planned, sometimes it's letting you towards something better. 
Sometimes we don't realize what is exactly in front of us and the opportunities that present themselves to us. We're too busy trying to stick to a rigid plan instead of letting life just happen on its own. It's crazy to think about how much has changed since I started this journey. How much I've grown as a person. How many incredible experiences I've had. How many downs I felt. Breakfast time. To be honest, most of the things that I remember are the good ones. I don't remember if I failed an exam or I didn't finish my homework in time. But I do remember the birthdays I did get to celebrate in different places with my mom. I remember those moments where I discover a new flavor combination like this one. Almond butter, peaches and smoked tofu. Trust me guys, it's gonna become your new obsession. And that's something I would have never discovered if I stuck to my old comfortable sandwiches combinations. And just like trying a new food, arriving to Berlin just marks a new chance for me to continue evolving. To not make a better version of myself, but a more truer and more authentic version of me. Take this as your sign to take one baby step outside that comfort zone and to discover who you are meant to be. But guys, we've made it to Berlin. I can't believe it. We're here. How crazy is that? I literally don't know what to say. Now it's quite late. I think I'm gonna go to sleep earlier. I'm tired after having one flight rescheduled because of delays and stuff like that. But guys, if you want to see a tour of my apartment, you'll have to subscribe so you don't miss the next video that's coming out about my first week in Berlin and me settling here. And also let me know in the comments down below what things you want to see from me. Now that I'm here in Berlin, this is the last chapter of uni. Do you want more silent vlog style videos or do you want advice and tips or do you want more cooking videos i can also make that happen literally thank you so much for joining me on this journey and i know we're gonna have a lot of fun together so stay tuned for more sending a lot of kisses and i hope you guys have a great day evening or night whenever you're watching this and i'll see you guys next time let's see what berlin has in store for this girl